The 4th of July is just one day away, and while fireworks can be fun, it's important to know how to safely use them. Last year alone, there were over 9,000 people treated for fireworks-related injuries across the nation. Here to tell us a little bit more about fireworks safety is Valid Health Pediatric Emergency Medical Physician, Dr. Heather Champney. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Well, first off, what are some ways to stay safe if you decide to shoot off fireworks tomorrow? Well, the primary way to stay safe is to let the professionals do it. Yes. <laughs> so um, find something in your area that are that are performing and go and enjoy that with your family and leave the rest of them to the professionals. Um, but if you choose to do it, a couple of things come to mind. Number one, come up with your safety plan before you start messing around with them. Decide what you're gonna do if one doesn't light, if there's a fire, if you need to access emergency services, who's going to do that? So those plans in advance are really helpful because we tend to get a little chaotic in the moment. Um, and then obviously, big open range, so you don't wanna do it in a close area where things can ricochet and you don't want anyone standing really close to it. Make sure if you're going to shoot them off, just do one at a time. Don't try to do multiple and put on your own <laughs> grand show. Um, the most common age group that enters the emergency room for firework accidents are 15 to 19 year old males, followed by five to nine year olds. And they're coming for slightly different things. So those okay. adolescent males are okay, riskier taking behaviors and maybe not following safety protocols. And then the little ones are coming from sparklers, like those little handheld things that look really pretty, but they're really hot. I mean, they're like 2000 degrees, so they'll get burns or they'll catch their clothes on fire, those, those types of things, because they're just, they're just not ready to handle those sorts of things. And you just led into my next question, you know, especially with those young kids. We know oftentimes parents are handing out the sparklers and they're going to everybody, anything handheld. Are there any tips for those parents or for those kids if they decide to use sparklers tomorrow? Well, really and truly don't give them to young kids. Just don't, resist that temptation. Um, if you're gonna hand, hold anything um, that's a handheld firework, you wanna make sure that the clothing you're wearing isn't baggy and gonna sway into it and catch on fire. Uh, you wanna make sure you have something right away that you can dump it down in a bucket of water or spray off with a hose. Um, and if you do, if you are holding it, you want a good bit of space. So make sure you keep those little ones away and the bigger ones as well, so that they're not running into the fray of those sparkles that are coming off. And when should you go to the emergency room and when should you maybe treat something at home? Well, so, you know, we grade burns in different degrees. Um, those that little tiny pop off and they're little small, say less than the quarter size, those are typically gonna be first degree burns, thinking sun, sunburn type level. Um, those often don't need medical care, but anything that's bigger, anything that um, the pain seems to be out of proportion to the injury, or if you just don't know, go be seen. Um, so in the immediate moment when you, when you sustain a burn, you wanna put cool, not cold, but cool water or a cool compress on it for about five minutes or so to try and stop the burn. If, obviously, if your clothes are on fire, you need to remove those. If you have clothes that's adhered to a burn, leave that though, because that needs to be removed in a different fashion. If you're gonna stay at home, you can do just some over-the-counter first aid burn creams and that sort of thing, making sure that the wound is clean, you don't pop any blisters because we want to reduce our risk of infection. And we really don't want to use some of those tried and true home remedies. So don't use butter and toothpaste and those sorts of things on a wound. Clean it and if you're going to use anything, an over-the-counter um, um, antibacterial kind of ointment would be appropriate. And if in question, just come to the ER. Yes, well, Dr. Champney, thank you so much for joining us and thank for these you. great tips. For more information about how to safely use fireworks, head on over to our website, wjhl.com.